Hi, my name is MacArthur. In one stormy night, I sold my soul to an eldritch god in exchange for pierogi. You're listening to Deadly D8. Ladies, if your man is the perfect tank, is impossible to break, and has more hit points than a Dark Souls boss, that's not your man. It's a fucking goblin. Starting out as a goblin, you get a bonus to dexterity and charisma, so you can sing those annoying little goblin songs. And a minus to wisdom, because when the GM asks, are you sure you want to do that? You always confidently say, yes. Next, you pick what type of gobble gobble you are. That's called your heritage. And goblins straight up have some of the best options in the whole game. You can choose to start with resistance to either fire or cold damage. Couple that with the goblin's natural dexterity boost, and you're gonna be somersaulting around every fireball or cone of cold that the lich throws at you. If you don't want to take less damage from things, you can instead choose to have really sharp teeth, which make your bite attacks as strong as a longsword. Or you can be an iron gut goblin, capable of eating everything, like the little trash panda that you are. But you don't want to do any of that. You know why? Because you are unbreakable goblin. For some reason, Paizo went out and actually made the goblin the best bullet sponge in the entire game. Unbreakable gives you 10, yeah, a fat 10 HP at level 1. And at level 13, you can choose to become Unbreakable-er, which gives you another 10 HP, as well as the ability to bounce after you fall while not taking fall damage. Consider pairing this with the Roll With It feat which makes your goblin's skin so rubbery. When an enemy hits you, you literally fly around the map like a tennis ball off a serve at the French Open. And you can negate most of their damage. We're also obligated at this point to mention that the highest HP build in the game currently is a barbarian goblin who has 420 HP at level 20. Goblins are also great if you're like me like role-playing and not taking notes during sessions so that you always forget people's names. Goblin names are simple. They should be short enough to yell without getting winded, taste good to say, and rhyme with your goblin's favorite food. So every millennial goblin is probably just named Beat Bass like a fucking sicko. But maybe you want to sneak. Goblins can also do the sneaky. And if you like being sneaky, you can even be very sneaky. And if you're a good little gobbo and you don't die, you can be very, very sneaky, which basically just lets you sneak whenever the hell you feel like it. Goblins, they used to be a meme. Now they're the meta-breaking, bomb-making, trash-baking, testifying, death-defying, early contender for best ancestry. Just maybe don't feed them after midnight. Thanks for watching. We're Deadly D8. Goblins chew and goblins bite. Goblins cut and goblins fight. Stop the dog and cut the horse. Goblins eat and take by force. Goblins race and goblins jump. Goblins slash and goblins bump. Burn the skin and mask the head. Goblins cheer and